G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jim. Today's video is look what I bought, uh, it's the second of this particular series, I don't buy many fire trucks unfortunately, uh, yeah there's not many available, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so the one in the package I ordered on eBay a few weeks ago, it's a Matchbox Airport Crash Tender, a small, a small model. Uh, these two down here that you can see I picked up at the uh, Wentworth Park Antiques and Collectibles Fair. Um, I did a video about that. It was in the last video. It was the one before the last one. So check that out if you want. Um, so let's get into it. Um, the first one is a Norev. Um, I think it's a pumper. A Norev Volvo pumper. Uh, this is actually my very first Norev fire truck. Um, what do I know about Norev? So apparently they started in 1946, and so that makes them what about 76 years old now. So that's a pretty good effort. They were they were invented by um, or they started by the Veron brothers, V E R O N brothers from Lyon, France. Now, if you spell Veron backwards, it, it comes out as Norev. So that's how they come up with the name, Veron to Norev. So that's interesting, I thought. Um, this particular model, um, well, let's get out. Maybe it'll tell me what year it's from. Um, it was actually stuck to the packaging. I had to tear it open, so it looks like this has never been unboxed before it's never been out of the packaging so it's a die cast um, a model uh, besides the, the white plastic parts and the little white spray nozzle uh, let's have a look underneath Volvo F89 mini jet Norev uh, there's something there made in France but it doesn't tell you what year it came from. Um, let me show you the packaging. Um, so there's all that information. Again, it doesn't really tell you. Um, that, that's how much I paid for it. Five dollars on the 60 of 11th this year. Model and package lead tree. That's good to know. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any dates but I I would guesstimate it would be from the probably the 70s uh, yeah so back to the model let's have a look at it not a great lot of detail um, yeah so the orange glass in it. Uh, let me have a quick look in the interior. I don't expect to see much. Probably not even a steering wheel. Could be a steering wheel there. But yeah, I just bought it for the novelty. I, I saw it early in the event. I knew I was going to buy it. So I eventually came back to the guy. And I was surprised he only asked $5. I thought that's a pretty good price. A little bit of light detail on the back. It's got a little tow, tow hitch or tow bar. No decals at all, which is a shame. Volvo embossed in the front. Scale, um, I'd be guessing I'd say... Hmm... It doesn't really tell you. I suppose it's a 176 scale or something like that. So yeah, there's that one. Norev. Volvo Pumper. Alright, now the second one's quite interesting. When I passed the, um, the table this was sitting on, I actually thought it was... Um, you know the old Thunderbirds, the the very original series? There was actually a, a green Thunderbird 2 and a bluish Thunderbird 2. 
So when I was walking past, I actually thought it was a Thunderbird 2, the blue version. But on closer inspection, it turned out to be this really cool space car. Uh, I think what really attracted me was the two little pilots inside. So I asked the guy, he didn't know anything about it actually. That's what I paid for it, $45, made in China. It doesn't tell you much at all. It's got retractable wheels at the front. Uh, so yeah, he couldn't tell me much about it at all. Uh, I knew it was from some TV show. So when I got home, I did a bit of um, research. And I found out it's from a TV show called Joe 90. It's a dinky model. Um, apparently this particular model was made from 1969 to 1976. Um, Joe 90 was produced by the same guy, uh, Jerry Anderson, that made Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds. Uh, there is a couple of versions of this. There's one with a single pilot and the, uh, the rocket engine here actually lights up. It had a battery compartment underneath and, and when you press the switch, uh, the engine lit up. So yeah, it's something different. It's, it's called the jet air car. Uh, apparently it could fly, hover and, and, and go and land at about 200 miles per hour. <laughs> So it's got a mechanism, uh, which is a little bit faulty. It's got these little wings that flap up and down. But when you squeeze these wings in, the front undercarriage comes out. See that? Um, unfortunately, it doesn't lock into place. The spring must be a bit worn out. Sometimes I can lock it into place, and sometimes I can't. I thought this little orange button here um, sort of released them, but it doesn't seem to work. But I think it's kind of cool. I don't mind these sort of space vehicles. Um, I'm not really into spaceships that much, but unusual space vehicles I, I, I don't mind getting. So if it was made in between 1969 and 1976, that makes it about you know 40 or 50 years old. So it's not in bad nick. Um, $45. When I first saw it, I said to the guy, oh, I'll think about it and I'll come back. And I did come back. I had a closer inspection of it. It seemed in pretty good condition. Uh, but the guy wouldn't budge on the price. So I ended up paying the $45 for it. But yeah, in the comments, uh, everyone, let me know if you watched Joe 90. Um, as far as I know, we didn't get in Australia. We got Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds and shows like that, Blake 7. But I don't remember Joe 90. So yeah, let me know what you thought of that TV show. Ah, they've stayed in place. So apparently if I lift the rear wheels, I'll come out. See that? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's go into the final one, which is in a package which I'll cut open. Um, yeah, I ordered this a few weeks ago and I've been saving it for um, to show you guys on a video. It's um, nothing spectacular. It's a very small airport crash tender from uh, Matchbox. So that's the company I bought it off. I actually forget what I, I paid for it. Um, I actually won it on a, an auction uh, and no one else really bidded for it. So I'd seen this model quite a lot. I'm always on eBay looking for new fire truck models. And I thought to myself, one day I'll get one of these when I when I see one at a reasonable price in good condition. Yeah, that's the guy who bought it off. 
So yeah, finally one came along and here it is in front of you. Not a bad box actually, here's another business card. Got two of them now. Um, yeah, where's the model? Oh. I would love this model in a bigger scale, like 143 or something would be awesome. So you guys have probably seen this model before. Uh, let's give it a quick clean. Seems to have all the parts, the little water cannons and that. Okay, here he is. The airport rescue. The fire department is slightly worn out. Um, I'm not sure what type of truck this is. Maybe it'll tell us. Oh, actually, what am I saying? It's a Hot Wheels. It's not a Matchbox. Made in Malaysia. Made in 1979. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what's that, about 42 or 43 years? Ah, oh, Hot Wheels. Yeah, normally I don't like Hot Wheels fire trucks, but this is a really old one, so... I've got a similar type of airport crash tender, an Oshkosh. Now I think it's, I think this is an Oshkosh. I won't even bother looking in the interior. I don't think that there's much in there. It's, the windows are so small. Yeah, again, the, the decals are a bit faded on this side, the fire department. Rolls okay. So the scale, it's probably at least a scale of 100, probably 120, because normally these things are huge. Yeah, imagine this in a, a bigger scale, like 164, 143, it'd be great. But another one ticked off my list to get. Um, yeah, actually, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't that much. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to guess. I think it was something like 5 or $10.00. Plus about nine dollars postage within Australia. So there you go, guys. That's it. That's my look what I bought video for today. Um, not much, as I said. I don't get to buy many models or fire trucks. There's just not much available, and postage from overseas is just outrageous. I, I just actually. I actually just bought another fire truck online and it's being sent from America and the postage is actually $43, which is more than the actual model. So yeah, the postage is killing me. Okay then, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope everyone's been doing well, finding heaps of models. Hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye for now.